Hello friends, this is Karanveer Singh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I know it's been a while but I was waiting for Apple to fix some bugs in Swift UI which I think they still haven't fixed yet. You know I was trying to create an image view, you can say image view where we could zoom, you know pinch to zoom and all that and uh, drag to view the zoomed image but the magnification gesture which is a replacement of pinch to zoom gesture of ui kit that magnification gesture isn't working properly it still isn't working properly it's beta 6 and it still isn't working properly so we will delay that tutorial but let's move on to our today's tutorial how to create a, a dynamic action sheet you know in uh, previously we could do this we could uh, if we have an array and we could you know uh, loop through it and we could create uh, add these actions inside that alert alert type is action sheet and it would create a dynamic action sheet depending upon your requirements but this time the because uh, now we uh, have to implement action sheet in a different way so now we need a different way to create a dynamic action sheet okay let's first create a simple uh, action sheet the default action sheet to do that we need to uh, first create a button that will you know uh, pop up the action sheet let's create a button okay and let's create a state variable well you know we need a we need a state variable set it to false fantastic and here we will set that to true show action sheet is equal to true now we need the code for action sheet the code for that is dot action sheet okay and uh, here we need the you know binding th that state variable that should be dot dollar sorry show action sheet okay fine here what we need is we need an action sheet you know it's asking for an action sheet so how do we do that we don't need all of this code okay and uh, we can just simply create an action sheet uh, of by calling this action sheet and inside it takes a title message and the buttons array okay the title should be action okay accidentally press the caps lock message would be select an option and for buttons array we can do this dot default and should be label should be first button an action should could be anything print first okay that looks good I think and okay sorry it, I accidentally pressed the wrong uh, okay there's another error okay this is not exactly uh, an error because it requires it to be um, wrapped in a text so we will do that not a big deal same thing here we can do this and yeah and i think we need the same thing here too but it will automatically tell us yeah you know in in swift ui we need to do this because it, it requires a kind of text item not exactly just a string so we need to wrap this in a inside a text view so there you go and let's run it okay this works and fantastic if you click on it this show action sheet will turn to 
false again and it will be dismissed so along with this if you want more buttons okay uh, then you can add those by like you know dot cancel and uh, if you want if more uh, normal buttons because you know the cancel button always shows up this separated from the other buttons so if we want more buttons we can uh, add those by using the same uh, sorry same default method and in case you don't want to give any, any kind of an action just I don't know why would you do that but there is an option to do that too second button so okay if you run this and okay that looks good okay fine now if we want a dynamic action sheet you know we have an array and we want to get the titles of uh, our action sheet buttons from those from that array how to do that but as you have probably seen this that this buttons parameter it takes an array so this is exactly what we are going to do we are going to create an array of action sheet dot button or instead of action sheet dot button we can just create an ns mutable array and cast that to action sheet dot button type so well first of all let's create a simple uh, simple array of titles okay titles okay one two three four now let's also create a an mutable array for var buttons array okay sorry yeah that looks fine now we have to initialize this button array. for the sake of this tutorial we will need to initialize this buttons array before the app creates this view you know this view or in a real world application uh, we will need to call a certain method after we get that array from either a web service api call or any kind of requirement that you could have in a particular app after you get that array and then you can call that method well first of all create that method which we need to call we can do that okay we can either uh, we can create it outside let's create that function outside or oh, don't need this and parameters uh, load array okay for i in zero that should be self dot titles dot count yep here let's create uh, button of the type action sheet dot button is equal to this is exactly what we need a default okay that looks okay that's it and instead of first button what we can do is uh, we can take the title from self dot titles array titles and i yep that looks fine and after this okay after this we can add 
and this buttons to the button to this button to the buttons array okay i is equal to but good now instead of printing first we can just print the title okay and instead of taking these array this array we can pass the self dot buttons array and it will tell us to cast this to action sheet dot button type so we will do that fine now for the sake of this tutorial like i said before we need to call this method at the start and there is a way to do that and that way is and that there is a method in swift ui it's called init okay we don't need any parameters we just need to load this array and instead of this you can also uh, call this method here you know self dot load array and give this load array a return type of you know spring and you can return a string here okay whatever the action you want and similarly you can call that array here not a big deal okay but you know we can just simply do this here okay this looks fine let's run this app and there you go it works fine it works properly if you press the first it will print one okay guys that's it thanks for watching my video please click like and subscribe to my channel and share this video if you found this useful and i will be create uh, making more tutorials very soon on image and all that other stuff in swift ui i was just hoping that apple fixes those magnification gesture okay i'm waiting for that but anyways i will post some other stuff some other useful stuff from swift ui maybe i will also create some tutorials on android there are some things that i really need to uh, show you guys okay thanks once again goodbye